welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited and really nervous at the same time because I'm finally posting my first video and it's gonna be an amazing video, so stay tuned. I thought that for my first video, I could post about me redoing my bedroom. So just to give you a little background history, I moved to this apartment about six months ago with my fiance and we have not got into decorating a room completely. I feel like the most decorated room is our bedroom right now, but that's only because we have like the big furniture pieces like our bed, our dresser, our nightstands. But other than that, we don't have any curtains. We don't have any like, there's not really any style in there and I just wanna make it my own. And so I'm gonna show you some pictures, uh, just some like Pinterest pictures that I found that are just, I'm just gonna use as inspiration because I do want my bedroom to be cozy, warm. I wanna have a lot of nudes, whites, and golds. So that's kind of like the theme. And then I'm also planning on doing a few DIYs, which I will show you like the ins and outs of it as well. And I also will show you and take you along with the shopping. And I'm also gonna show you just like a few things that I got off of Target, Marshalls, Home Depot, and Walmart. And to start, I can do the haul of things that I got. I can start with Walmart. So at Walmart, I didn't really get a, few, a lot of things because their selection was very, um, there wasn't much for me, honestly. The only thing that I really picked up from there were these two curtains. And I picked them up because they were just sheer ones and I couldn't beat the price. They were about like five bucks each. So why not? I had to get them. They were really cheap and I liked them. And this is kind of like the style that I'm going for. And then I also, I'm gonna move along to what I got from Target. And just going along with the whole curtains, I did get the rods. I just got these simple thin ones because I do live in a apartment. So that means that I need to do everything rental friendly just because I don't wanna like, you know, drill in some holes in the wall. So I got these two because I do have two windows in our bedroom. And then from Target, I also got these command hooks. And I got the silver ones, but what I'm planning to do is I'm actually gonna spray paint them with gold spray paint. Just because it, the silver doesn't really go with our room. Like we don't have anything that's silver. So I got a few of these in case we need more. I don't know how heavy the curtain rods are gonna be. And then I also got these command little strips just for our pictures, our picture frames so we can hang them because we are gonna have like a gallery wall of our engagement pictures. And then I got another pack just in case we need more. And then from Target, I also got this beautiful, beautiful throw blanket. And it's this white one and it feels so nice. It's like a knit material and oh, I'm dying to use this, I can't wait. And also it was only like 25 bucks. So that's a deal, I had to get that. And then I did get some sheets from Amazon. And originally I wanted white sheets, but the thing is that I can never keep white sheets white and I'm just so sick of having that problem. So I decided to get tan brown ones and it does go with our decoration style. So I'm hoping that these don't get as dirty as the white ones. And this on Amazon cost me about $50 and I will, you know, link it. So in case you do want to get it, you can get it. But this was $50. <laughs> So I will say that this duvet was a little bit more expensive than um, just my regular white one. My regular white duvet cost me about like 30 bucks. But I will say that based on like the quality of this, I do think that this is gonna hold up better. Um, so I do think you should splurge a few extra dollars just on a duvet because this is something you use every day, you know, and you're gonna wash it. So you might as well just splurge a few dollars for it to last longer. And then I went to Marshalls and I did get a few items from Marshalls. 
I got these decorative pillows and these were $39.99 and I really love these because this is kind of like the color scheme that we're going for our bedroom. It's like the nudes, the browns, and the cream color. And we got two of these. And then we did need new fitted, fitted sheets because our white ones are extremely dirty and I just I just want to throw them off honestly so I got new ones and these are just kind of like a yellowish like cream color and these were $24.99 I would highly recommend you getting your sheets from from Marshalls or TJ Maxx because they they're cheaper and they're really good quality as well and then like I said we are gonna have a gallery wall for pictures so I got these picture frames and these picture frames are actually from the Dollar Tree and I got them back when the Dollar Tree was a dollar so I did get them for a dollar and I bought nine of these and I'm really excited because I also printed out the pictures that I'm gonna be hanging up and I printed them out on Walmart and I'm really 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 excited to like print these I was really excited to print these pictures and just to like showcase them on our gallery wall. These are our engagement pictures. We recently got engaged about like two months ago. So we do have these and we do want to add that personal touch to like our bedroom. So I'm super excited about hanging these up. And this is actually going to be one of the DIYs that I'm going to have in this series. So it's going to be really fun. And then... I also got this candle from Marshalls. This one was $6.99 and it smells like lavender. And I just like, I got it literally for the looks because it goes with our decoration style. It has the natural woods, which we have a lot. And then it goes with the white and black. And plus it's, it smells good. And to be honest, it kind of smells like coconut to me. I don't know if it's just me though. And then I got these beautiful, beautiful candles from the Dollar Tree. Can you believe that? I got these for a dollar. And I think they're just so gorgeous because they're glass. And I don't know if you can tell, but they have this beautiful, beautiful design. And then, you know, the candle inside. But I thought that was a steal. And then I also got these beautiful candle holders as well at the Dollar Tree. And these go really well with our room because they have the gold rim right here. And then again, you have like the orange and it's glass. And um, I don't know what to put inside of these yet, but we'll figure it out eventually. And then I did get plants for our nightstands. This one is mine and it cost me $9.99. And I love this one specifically because it has like the moons right there and it has like this wood accent. I like so this one is mine and then for my fiance I he did choose out this one which I absolutely love too it's a little bit more crazy but the base is like this great texture with like white so it's gonna go on his nightstand and then I did say that I was gonna spray paint some of the metal with gold so I got this off of Home Depot and this is the paint that I'm gonna be using and then lastly, I did get these nightstand lights and I got them from Marshalls and they were only $29.99. And I thought that this was, they look like this. And I thought this was such a good deal because I feel like anywhere else, lamps are super expensive, like $50 each. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't have money like that. And I also wouldn't spend $50 on a lamp. I think that's ridiculous. It's just a lamp. And I really like this one. So I thought that we, you know, we could use this. This is our bedroom. As you can see, it's pretty plain. There's nothing on the walls. There's no curtains. We only have a nightstand and then our bed. And we have the, these plaid sheets. We also have this rug and we have the stressor right here. We have the TV right there. We have a few of these personal items that we will be reusing in this video just to decorate. And then on this side, we do have our mirror. So I am gonna be doing my first DIY and it's just gonna be spray painting these command hooks for my curtain rods and then I'm also spray painting these silver curtain rods and I'm gonna spray paint them gold 
with this spray paint that I got from Home Depot and it was only $10. And by doing this, I am saving a lot of money because silver tends to be a little bit cheaper than gold and also I really couldn't find these in gold and I like, I like these curtain rods because they're thinner. They're not as thick as like the other one. And then I couldn't find these command hooks in gold. You can only find them in white and this silver. So I really have no option but to like, you know, spray paint. So I'm going to show you just the process and how they turn out. I really hope that they turn out like I want them to. I'm a little nervous, but we'll see. After many arrangements, this is what I finally decided to go with for his nightstand. I have this little sketchbook and then I have the plant that we got and then I also got this tray from the Dollar Tree and just so he can put his jewelry on there and then there's the lamp that we got and then he also has this little stick figure, this wooden stick figure and then I also have one of those cameras right there. And then for my side, I decided to keep it very simple because it can get very cluttered if you put too many things on your nightstand. So I just cut my notebook and then also my agenda book for this year. And I like how both of them are like different tones of nudes. Then I have my plant and I also have my very boho coaster. And I have the candle right there and the lamp. So now I'm gonna move on to the gallery wall. And for the gallery wall, I am gonna be using these Dollar Tree frames, it's an 8x10 and I'm also going to be using a cutting board, a pair of scissors, and a really sharp knife. Preferably you can use an X-Acto knife but I don't have one. And then I'm also going to be using poster board because this is going to be part of the outline for the pictures. And then of course, you know, you can get your pictures that you're actually going to use for this. The first step is going to be to flip this over and you're going to want to take all the inside paper outside because we don't need it right now. It's just this. And now what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna basically just outline this cardboard paper because this is the cardboard paper that came with the picture frame. So this cardboard paper measures to eight by 10. So I'm just gonna outline this and cut it so I can have my white paper outline.
So it was a fail, like just trying to cut it, like the picture outline, just trying to cut it with the exacto knife. I couldn't really get the hang of it and it looked very sloppy, messy. So my fiance suggested just putting like tape on the photo and then measuring it and centering it and then just putting tape at the bottom, I mean on the back and then just placing it down. And that seems to be working way better as you can see i have this one done already and i taped it instead of cutting it out So this is the final product. I'm actually very, very, very satisfied and pleased with how my little DIY project came out even though we did hit a few hiccups. But overall, I would say that it was a success. walk into the room this is what you see on this side here's my side my nightstand as you can see we did put the curtains up I think it's a little too thin so I'm just gonna buy an extra curtain just so I can um, have a little bit more material going on because it's really really extremely sheer but for the most part I do like it and I did want to say that our nightstands are from this local thrift shop and it's called Remix. And then here's our comforter and our pillows. I love the whole look of it. Our bed is from Ikea and if you live in New York City, you're going to really enjoy this. Um, it's one of those beds with drawers underneath. Yeah, I, we need that. I mean, I our apartment is not that small, but we still need that extra space. Especially for like our winter clothes since they take up so much space. And then here you have the rug. It's from rugs.com. I will link it below. And then if you go on this side, here's his nightstand. And I think my favorite part of the whole room is literally the gallery. The gallery right here, it's, it's beautiful. I think it adds a really personal touch and it just makes the area feel more personalized. And I really, really loved it, even though it was a lot of work and yeah, it just took a lot of my time. And then over here, we did buy a bench for this area. Excuse the whole wires. We're trying to figure that situation out still. But we did buy a bench and I just put my hats here for the moment. And then we do have my hamper. And we got that from Remix. And we got the bench from Marshalls. It was only $100, so that's where we got it. And then here's the other curtain. Like I said, I will be adding just another another curtain just because it's just too thin. Like, I don't like how I can see that much. And then here, I just have my essential oils. And then I just have a picture of me. 
and then I have my oil diffuser and the TV and then over here I just have a few little decor pieces and then here's the mirror and the mirror is from Ikea Thank you so much for watching this video. I had so much fun filming.